Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Corridors 2. This is Blue Horror Gaming and we are back with Tammy, who is the second character to be unlocked in this game. Um, but first of all we're going to switch over to Gia so we can figure out her last uh, diary entry which we left off on. Alright, that is called the Broken Bracelet so let's just hop right in and figure out what happened. To poor Lucy. Pretty sure we know what happened, but let's be hopeful. Let's be hopeful. Ugh, that's not hopeful. <laughs> I barely grabbed her arm when she was about to falling down. I didn't have enough strength to hold her for a long time. I held her bracelet, but I couldn't keep her that much. She fell down to the ground, after all. And that's a really short one. Oh, so Gia did try to save Lucy. So I don't believe Gia deserves his punishment. Before I did I didn't wasn't aware of this knowledge that she actually tried to save her. So I don't think Gia should be running in this game because she clearly doesn't deserve it. Tammy on the other hand though, she is not as innocent. I believe Tammy is the bad guy, essentially. Alright. So let's start off with Scribbles. Gia doesn't have enough courage to get close to me. Somehow I kept thinking about her even though I hang out with this female group. Actually, I am a little upset about her because after I hang out with this female group, she doesn't even talk to me at all. We were used to be a best friend, and I think still we are. Gia was the one who drew me and come up to me first when we were in the same middle school. I am still waiting for her to come to me just like in the old days. Alright, now for the crumpled ribbon. Frankly, Gia is not the one who bothers me. Lucy is our class president, and she is the annoyed one. She, she thinks that she is a very special and superior one compared to other students. She always pretended to be a very generous person in the class. What the heck? What a nasty girl she is. What an asshole. She gave out hairpins to all the classmates to wear them together. It was a ribbon. I just crumpled it. Um, Tammy, you're a little prejudiced. You're a little biased. You don't know anything about her. Anyway, now for the cold lunchbox. Gia is eating her lunch by herself, alone and unwilling to get together with other classmates. How pity she was. I feel a little sorry for her. I brought my lunchbox to have a lunch with her. As I walked towards to her, I had to stop walking because Lucy was there. Well, just join them, Tammy. There's no need to be shy. She is your friend. Your best friend. Ugh. Okay. Hand mirror. I was watching them over a little way off without letting them know. My seat was far down the row in the class. I could see all the class at a glance. I was holding and looking at my hand mirror to adjust my hairs. I could see Lucy and Gia through the mirror. Gia seemed quiet, and I could see Lucy's face with a, with a full of arrogant. I very resent her being too arrogant. Gia is not your possession. I don't care what you think. She's your friend, yes. But she's not your possession. <laughs> okay. Crowd and noisy cafeteria. I couldn't wait for Gia anymore. I had to come up to her and say something. I was yelling at her in front of everybody. The cafeteria was very crowded and she was so embarrassed. I asked her to come back to the cafeteria during night study session. Now this is the moment back in Gia's journal when when Tammy confronted her out of the blue. And I, I still agree, even at this point of view, that Tammy was in the wrong. She should not have done that, especially to her friend. Okay, Lucy's writing. I 
I didn't mean to fight with her. I've made commitment for myself to come up to her and take and took my courage to talk to her first. I was going to ask her everything about what she has in her mind. We had a long conversation. After all, Gia told me about Lucy's secrets. She even showed me Lucy's writing. It was all about how Lucy likes Mr. Kwan. Um... Uh... Okay... Now for a group chatting. Oh boy, this did not sound good. I made a private group chatting room to tell everyone what I've heard from Gia. Everything about Lucy's secret. Our conversations were all about how we could bring Lucy down. I need some right reason to move my plans forward. I started to write about Lucy on my SNS first. There were a bunch of comments and shares afterwards. Um, whoa. Mind your own business, girl. Seriously. What has Lucy done to you that she deserves that? Okay, Gia's hair. Oh my goodness. That is Lucy. The thing has been went over much farther than I thought. This rumor has been spread out like lightning fast. It wasn't just for a class who doesn't like Lucy. Now it gets bigger and bigger and the entire school knows everything about Lucy's secret after all. It was out of control. Lucy was totally pissed. Lucy blames Igea. She even fights with her so bad. I hated Lucy so bad after she fought with Gia. Oh, wow. Dirty training uniform. Lucy was a role model for everyone in the school, but she lost her everything now. If she wasn't trying to get close with Gia, then it won't be worse like this. They won't believe those rumors that much, and more people are on Lucy's side if she wasn't sensitive like this. Now, nobody cares about Lucy anymore, whether the female group teased at her or even do much bad things at her. Everyone in the school even ignored when the female group put dirt on her training uniform. That's just disgusting. That is just out of control. Why would you do that? God damn, girls are horrible. Seriously. And they do more psychological damage than physical. Screenshot from the phone. I took several screenshots from my phone because I couldn't believe what I have saw. I forwarded them all to Gia right away. There was no replies from her for a while. I am sure that she might very freaked out because I did what I saw them first. Even bleh, every message to Lucy wrote, she was crying out for die and going to kill herself. I told Gia that we should go there and see her together. There was nothing for us to lose. Let's just ignore what Lucy said. It would not be ever happened, I said. Wow. When someone's talking about suicide and you just ignore them, that is the completely wrong thing to do. Oh, Tammy, you are disgusting me. Mm-hmm. Screaming. Nah, that sounds like a good chapter title. <laughs> I was totally wrong. No shit, Sherlock. If I just go there and see Lucy face to face, I thought she might say sorry to me, but it's been way too serious than what I've expected. Wait, say sorry to you? What? I could still understand and handle the Lucy's sharp temper. She was even swinging around with her scissors towards Tijia. I was a little scared and stepped back aside. Lucy was rushing forward to Gia, and somehow she went through the window. Lucy just fell down to the ground. Uh, uh. Okay, so I'm going to also read you open window, because I've already finished uh, Mrs. Kwan. So, consider this a favor from me to you. Gia was grabbing Lucy, Lucy and I was grabbing Gia at the same time. 
I couldn't keep holding them together that long. I feel my arm was going to be broke or something, since Gia was holding Lucy. I was afraid because I knew Gia wasn't strong enough to make it. I was kept I was keep thinking, how am I going to do? Should I just call to 911 to get some help? By the time I was getting my cell phone out from my pocket, I heard something. Oh my god, Lucy just fell down to the ground. I was looking at her in front of the window, but couldn't say anything. Ugh. So here we here we have Tammy was trying to get help. But was she actually trying to get help for Gia or for Lucy? I'm going to say Gia because she was afraid of her falling out the window with Lucy, but that didn't happen. Because she wasn't trying to pull Lucy up. She was trying to keep Gia from falling down. So if Tammy had simply pulled Gia back, they probably could have saved her. Probably. And besides, trying to call for 911 during the event is not going to help. <laughs> They're not going to get there that fast to pull them both up, unfortunately. So that's Tammy. So thank you very much for listening to Tammy's playthrough. Um, in the later, in the second half of this video, I'll show you some some new jump scares that I found from Lucy. Uh, I've been playing a long time, and I discovered some that I hadn't seen before. So I figured I'd share them with you too, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. I'll see you later.